What's up guys? This is the Brokerman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States of America. And in this episode, uh, we are effectively um, biding our time, building up our economy, getting ready to attack or to launch our next attack against Quebec. Uh, we are no longer allies of Quebec, so we are slowly uh, reconstituting our forces after many, many turns of trying to focus on the Native American factions. So we have a force that's going to go up here and attack Maine. We have an army that's going to push up through Michigan Territory. And we're going to squash this force. So this force here at Niagara is going to stop them from moving east. And once that fight has been decided, then this army is moving up the northern bank of the Niagara River. This army will move up the southern bank. And these, the intention is with these uh, crossings is to try and contest them with the United States Navy. That would be my plan. So if I can block, cut this crossing here, it prevents three supply or reinforcement from Quebec. And the same here prevents troops from leaking through uh, from Montreal. But we have no money, so now it is time to hit to end the episode. We've got all of our military buildings are still uh, ongoing. Well, their, their, their construction is ongoing. So we're soon going to be ready for a... Uh, ready to start researching even more advanced me um, ma military technologies. But, for the time being, careful expansion and growth. We're building the USS Constitution, but I believe that is close to a 5th or 6th rate capability. I don't know. It's off the top of my head. I know she's a frigate, but I want to try and <laughs> just make sure that when I, th when I throw into action, I'm throwing her into action against the appropriate enemies. Because right now, Britain has started building first-rate ships of the line. And we, uh, we, can, we can now build second-rates. More will be needed, though. More, many more ships with much, much, much greater capabilities. Well, I believe the Constitution will take the lead in the naval war against Quebec. Elsewhere in the world, everything seems to be going according to plan. The Norwegian Navy still grows. And I think, did, the, did they manage to successfully rebel? No, the Dutch still own Morocco. So, new farm upgrade and two state capital buildings. Great, because then now they are done. Right, so now it's time to more acutely go after some industry upgrades. Then we've got 6,000. Let's go for one state capital and one metal. Oh no, don't, let's not spend that yet. Let's make sure. So you, you. Ah, yes, you don't even have basic roads. Two and a half thousand. So Osbert McDowell. What do you want? I mean, you want some cavalry, so you can get a unit of Air and a unit of Regiment of Horse. Plus a Native Bowman Auxiliary. So we've got 400 left. Are there any cheap farm upgrades? It does not look like it, which means we're probably going to spend even more money on units. Or... Yeah, I might cancel the recruitment of one of these cavalry units so that I can maintain. Okay, actually, first of all, it might be good to. Okay, right. First of all, let's get rid of Merrimack. Because the, the problem is it's considering it a ship of the USS Constitution class and it's called it Merrimack. So let's just get rid of that. So it's just the Constitution. Yeah, more fire wait, more firepower than a 4-3. I mean, it goes to show, I must have thought, thought she was a smaller ship. She is just better, better than a 4-3, which is pretty awesome, actually. Let's get... I uh, don't, don't want any, any of those classes of ship. I'd like to get... Uh, a 6-3 would be still useful. Let's do that. No more research advances yet. 
Cool. Uh, right. I think. Yeah, this is what the end of the last episode was like. It was a bit end turn grindy because we are trying to balance our um, economic development with our military development. But we definitely, definitely want more ships to prevent Quebecois forces from being deployed against us along the coast. Now let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Austria's got quite an empire um, in this campaign. Too bad they couldn't do that in my in my Venice campaign. Instead, they are now <laughs> they are just weaklings. Oh no, the Marathas are probably gonna head towards us. That's not good. That may throw our assault off balance somewhat. But hopefully they look they're just going to try and take any some territory in the Caribbean rather than attack us. Uh nope. Sorry, Poland. Yeah, Portugal. Portugal's got quite a decent little navy in the Mediterranean. Thirteen thousand. Yes, sir. So fan, you're green. I want to get rid of your horse artillery because I'm just not a fan. Get another 12 pounder. Get a howitzer. And you probably. It's going to take them a while to get there, but let's just get some American infantry mercenaries. Um. Hmm. Okay. Ready and awaiting orders. Forward! Sir. March. Get them. You. Oh no, not not Sakers. No, no, no. Twelve pounder. That's how it's a. Uh... Right. Let's do. Let's try and add more. More goods into the trade market because that's what we've. Currently got loads of. We've got loads of trade relationships. Let's try and use that. And then probably get a couple of these farm upgrades. Yeah, you've got the state house. Okay, let's send the sixth ray in Merrimack. Oh, actually, I shouldn't just see. Privateer. Prudent. Sig 3 La Corona. So they do have a full army up here somewhere. And that's not a decent, that's not a bad army actually. Some Royal Ecosse. Guy Despero. He is desperate. Okay. 14,000 next turn. Ooh, they might be going to attack uh, Newfoundland, which if they do, that would be quite useful. Because then we can take it off of them without war with the British. It would be quite handy. Uh, no. You want to start something in our provinces, you can start it. If you've still got Tangiers, you know, your problems is I'm going to take it from you when I land in Europe. We're going to redo Operation Torch. We'll not redo. This will be the first time we've done Operation Torch. We'll provide the inspiration for Operation Torch. But for the most part, things are progressing okay. I mean, everyone's got it in for the Barbary States. Oh, okay, so they've landed and... Ooh, interesting, they've got some troops raiding. <laughs> they've got an embarked army raiding. But they're also moving... Well, the Marathas are moving west. Which, if they do, that'd be fun. If they start moving towards 
uh, Baghdad and entering the European theatre from the southwest. That'd be southeast. That'd be pretty cool. The Italians are blockading the Austrian Austrian uh, port. <laughs> They're just sending the ships on a on a series of grand voyages. Not the Polish are not going to try and barter with us now. They've got the measure of us, and they've realised that we don't want to trade with them. At least not for what the not what not for what they are offering. So have a little drink of squash. Yeah, watch out, Persia. The, the Marathas are coming. Another rake in Virginia, which I don't really care about. I mean, I might send a rake to see what's going on up here. Okay, so first of all... Right now, we're not looking at... Not looking at some of the bigger ships yet. Uh, make sure there's nothing that we can recruit out of that that we desperately want. Um, hmm. Right, I think we've got to sink some into industry. Four grand on a water, water power cloth mill, five grand for an upgraded port. Yeah, let's maybe try some of these lower tier industry buildings I think it's that one there it is good oh no no we want to keep the recruitment progressing so it'll field marshal of america will be really neat we will get one just not at the minute so you've got one you got your skirmishes your artillery yes, is on the way. Forward. March. You're going down to the south, as are you. Actually, you the only place I can. No, I can recruit mercenaries in a big port, in a big, uh, in a big town. Uh, you're going to hold on then, not recruit if we've got stuff that's heading their way, heading on, heading towards them. Get another weaver's cottage. Yeah, you've got your roads, road upgrades ticking on. So artillery recruitment. New national leader, Meredith Adams. That means we have new ministers. Plus one management, plus one justice. So you're immediately good for justice. But we've got, it's not Darren Leake. He's, he has returned. Plus one management, plus one management, plus one army. So you go. Wait, have you not got a justice thing? No, you're just really good. So go to the army. George Washington's in charge of the army again. Oral Ayrton. Plus one navy. Plus one management. Plus one justice. Plus one treasury. Plus one management. Yeah, you are good at the justice department. Or good in the justice department. Plus one navy. Plus one management. Plus one justice. Okay, you take over the head of the, of the de department of the navy. I mean, you're just rubbish. Let's put you here and then get rid of you. Yes, Harris Howe. I mean, he's another army guy, but I'd rather have him as my head of government for the time being. Excellent. Consider he gained. I'm using CAD, Harridan. Yes, but don't worry. That's been resolved. Cool. Yeah, where are you going? Again, they're very keen to be an ally, understandably, because we are... Okay, so they are landing to take Newfoundland, and that's pretty good. We can destroy their army on the 
on the mainland and then destroying them uh, in Newfoundland should be a fairly simple task. Oh, the Prussians have taken West Prussia, or at least very, or the very least defended West Prussia. I'm not sure how it's how the allegiance has changed. The Ottomans are actually they are pushing up in Russia. They've taken Rostov on Don, or Don Voisko, not Rostov on Don, even though it may be geographically similar. But yeah, they are pushing up into Russia. So if they keep keep up with that, that'll be pretty interesting to see. I mean, fundamentally, in Empire, lots of countries, they don't really do anything too outrageous when it comes to expansion, so I'm not really bothered about the historical accuracy of who expands into where, just so long as they do it. I mean, okay, let's check. Okay, no, my sounds do work. Modern University, which is great. Army board in Philadelphia, some farm upgrades. Some industry upgrades. Okay, it doesn't. Ha this is part of the problem: is that you can upgrade our trade, uh, our trade infrastructure a lot, but if we still get people being blockaded, it it, it does impact us. Probably still want to max out. Well, you 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 are exporting everything, Boston, which is good. Okay, all your stuff's on the way. I think I want to hit some road upgrades. Actually, maybe not all of them. Yeah, those mercenaries are heading south. Where's my rake? There he is. Push on up there, see what's going on. Then, yeah, let's upgrade the coaching in to a boarding house. That is going to cause problems. And then upgrade our opera house to a national observatory. And then we have the similar problem here. And upgrade you to a national academy. That does get us access to some really good technologies. So we get light infantry doctrine, that gets Morgan's Provisional Rifle Corps, Legion of the United States, and somewhere down here actually. Is it the Navy College? Yeah, the US Marines and US Continental Marines. Or well, Continental Marines late. So I want to make sure I'm I don't know if that would replace the Marines we can currently recruit. Oh it's here, isn't it? Yes, it will be. Well, we're maxed out on those marines anyway. We want to make sure that we are... Make sure that before we lose any units, we do... They are fully represented on the table. Well, on the, on the map, rather. Uh, so we don't miss out on anything. Quebec is still maneuver, moving troops around. The war will start this episode, that's for sure. We just need to make sure we're in the best position to kick it off. No. And to be honest, United Provinces, I'd be a bit concerned because you've got territories in the Americas and we're going to come and get you. Naples has a decent little navy, although it might be made up of mostly junk, but it's not bad. The Dutch are in the, uh, the, the Italians, sorry, are in the Atlantic. Nope, they've had enough of that, they're coming home. They missed Mama's Pasta. Or have they just done a switcheroo? 
Some ships are coming in, some are going out. <laughs> well, for the most part, European... European squabbles are very much that. Just squabbles. Good old Norway. <laughs> Forty thousand fire in advance, and they've gone straight on to light infantry doctrine. That's fine. Okay, Philadelphia. Let's get the presidential palace. Oh, I can't get the national academy until I get secular humanism. Gunnery school, which is good. More artillery techs. Jacques Delacroix. Okay, I think we might not be far off of kicking this off. I'm trying to make sure that I'm appropriately investing. Could recruit a frigate, but I don't want to. Another four to eight ship of a line plus a iron workshop up to a nine masters works, I think. Or do I just finish a construction construction tier and get a state capital? Because you're pretty... You're, I mean, this army doesn't really have to do much except defend the northeast. Okay, let's do that. I think next next turn it might kick off. Oh, the amount they're offering is slowly creeping down. Ah. They're going after one of the British islands, which again is useful for us. You know what? It might be it might be wiser just to wait just a little bit longer and see if their plans for uh colonial expansion work because it's an easier avenue for us to take it off their hands. That may well be, may well be the best case. May well be the best case to, to move forward. I think. I am looking forward to getting involved in the trade regions overseas. It's just right now we don't have the money. We've got a good amount of money, uh, but we. Oh. But we have so many things to spend it on. The Persian navy is pretty beefy, as is the Mameluke navy. But that's then that's quite traditional, really. The Mamelukes, in my campaigns, generally tend to build quite large navies to defend their port. Some better road upgrades. I think we are reaching a point where we're going to have to start building the more expensive government buildings. Yeah, it's full army. It's full army to the north. I mean, when you guys push in. Well, we'd want to destroy this army first. And then you will probably be responsible for fighting it here. Then you'll storm up here. Hopefully, well, our navy will be enough to block off flow of flow of troop the flow of troops. Um, fourth ray is being recruited. Can I sneak a cheeky fifth in there? Doesn't look like I can. I can only get a sixth ray in there. 
recruit Admiral Reynard Renard. He's a, he, he's a terrorist in the world is not enough in James Bond. Oh dear. Right, let's probably get get some more troops. Um, and then probably ready and waiting orders. Make ready. Make ready. Because you need to be ready to jump on your lanes, because France may get stuck in. Actually, I might wait one more turn, see what these guys do to the south, because right now they they are a potential risk. We do have that. We do have an army in Florida that can respond to it, but ideally, I want to see. I want to see the uh, Quebecois advance. What are the Spanish doing? I think they they may be aware that something is up. Nope. Trade. So much trade we're not involved in. Nuts. Oh, they built a fort. Okay, what's going on up here? Okay, everyone's moved out. Tech advance. Machine tools. You don't need to go on to steam engine because oh boy we've not got the uh <laughs> we've not got the money to <laughs> to take advantage of that yet. Nation destroyed. Poland's finally been defeated. So you've got a boarding house, let's upgrade you straight to a theatre. Let's upgrade the ordnance board just to keep the military techs flowing. Right now, yeah, you've not moved. It'd be quite good if we could snuff you out. Let's recruit one third rate right, for our main fleet. I mean, nah, just build another fourth. That's fine. Yeah, I think we now we've got to move in. Declare war. Call our allies in. France, you must choose. Quebec. Oh, 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 Quebec. Quebec didn't choose not to join them. Very well. Ready and awaiting orders. So let's take Constitution plus the bulk of our heavy fleet. Get up here. Raid Louisbourg. They did take Newfoundland, which is nice. Raid All Newfoundland. And then get them over here. And then let's take you guys. Make sure. Let's add another 4 3 onto that queue. And then here at Boston, recruit some troops. And then top that off with a cotton plantation upgrade. France has chosen not to break out, not to break our alliance, which means this army may get redeployed. But for now, they're going to hold the border. But then you, sir, are going to advance out of here and attack. Uh, that might actually not. Why did you not hit them from this side? Why did you push down? Because now they may well run into the US as they ret retreat. Oh, for God's sake. It's not as if there was any terrain that was going to cause, uh, <laughs> cause a problem. Why did you not just run straight in? Oh well. Let's get Cracking on. Gold pounders found away. Same with the howitzers. 
form a mighty battle line. Push forward. Plenty of cavalry. So we might be able to kill some enemy troops or destroy some enemy units. See you running. Got a lot of we can form a lot of squares. I should keep my light cavalry here. Push my heavies over to defeat their cavalry. Bodyguard of my regiment of horse advancing. Garcia, go for the general bodyguard. Colonial light cavalry. Ooh, colonial light cavalry. Go for the general's bodyguard. Advance my troops to imagine. Oh, yes, we killed their general. Hessian line. Get involved. Excellent, the enemy collapsing. Oh no, Anthony Wayne, watch out, this may be a battle of two fallen generals. Although you fought natives before. Excellent. Take my colonial light cavalry, pull them out. Get my artillery to engage other targets. Don't worry about fighting the general bodyguard. Put the wrong, wrong flag. Colonial line. This QRCF fight is still ongoing, but we should win. Kill the colonial dragoons. Okay, they are now starting to try and rush troops. Back to protect, protect the troops that are running. Well, there we go. That's right, run into the block of troops. It's lots of them all. This QRCF fight is still going. There we go. The light cavalry have been severely damaged. Should you go after the mercenaries? QRCF go after the colonial light foot. So, yeah, there they go. Ooh! Trying to chase after my cavalry. Meanwhile, here comes the infantry. Oh, kill that artillery when there's only one left. Slaughter them. Then try to go after the third regiment. Hey, they have come back. Colonial lights, get over here. Get the first foot guards. Make it right.
load into them again. Kill them! Kill them all! I know you're gonna charge right into the Royal Escasse. Escasse, not Escasse, Escasse. Grenadiers. Make sure the artillery cease firing. So really, you should go after that unit. You should go after that unit. You should go after this unit. Just make sure they are all occupied. didn't work. And they escaped. You go after the Grenadier unit. You go after this unit. Smash them! Decisive victory. That's what we want to see. See, look, they ran into my territory, which is just the worst. If I take everybody except for my artillery, I can chase after them and defeat Glorious them. Victory. Your and you guys ready for regroup at Niagara. Make ready. We're not at war. Oh no, we are at war with the Huron. You may end up having to fight them. You're going to stand ready. Yeah, you may end up having to fight Huron, take that territory from them, and maybe push up against Moose Factory. In fact, let's get our spy down here. You're going to hold while this army reconstitutes and heads northeast. Because we don't yet have what we want. Although actually the sixth rate can get in here. Raid them. And then we at uh, they very yeah, cross it here. Prevent them from supporting so now these guys are trapped unless they want to come across this piece which we could try and block off but we've not got the or do we have the legs maybe if you go further along and i send uh, this sick three yeah, they can get there. See, sometimes this 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 sort of a movement area marker they put down gets a bit janky in the in the Niagara River. So you end up needing to there you go. See, so now it's filled in, but previously it wasn't. Okay, there we go. They demand what sort of position? What sort of uh, position do you think you're in? There we go. Whoa. We're going to probably want to take that, destroy that fleet with the Constitution and Co. We'll also destroy those troops. And our, yeah, our, our income this turn is going to be. Ooh, the Austrians were going to attack Portugal. Uh, our income this turn is going to be throttled because they are blockading one of our. Trade ports are probably going to be on maybe seven, eight, maybe ten if we're lucky. Maybe, I don't know. Soon find out.
but it was quite a conclusive victory. Gentlemen recruited in Pennsylvania, so uh, 9,900 was not far off. Okay, then let's put the gentleman in Harrisburg. Stealth is my cloak. Aha, a place of learning and culture. Fort located. You in a fifth rate, Joseph. <gasps> Joseph, oh Mirabeau, Mr. Theodore. Privateer, two fourths, a bomb catch, and a brig. Yeah, I think Constitution's gonna have a go at you guys. Especially as I can pick up some more friends from Yorktown. But yes, yeah, so you guys get back here. You men advance to head off Mr. Brissot. For crown and country. This force can get ready to push Forward. in. My spy. Waiting for further orders. So the full army is inside of there. Okay. I mean, you really need. Let's get a mounted tribal auxiliary and a light cavalry unit. Here at Boston is where we're going to recruit a field marshal of America. They're going to bring in. They're going to bring. We're going to slowly start to uh, build up another army. Up to three thousand. Let's not do anything yet though, because you want to bring in. Bring in the Constitution. Bring up the fifth rate Echo and the fifth rate Delaware. Ready and waiting. Aye, sir. Bring them in! Let's take some prizes, dear boys. The fourth will be brought into the fleet. The rest will be sunk. Scuffled for, <laughs> for more money to help aid our repairs. So let's have a good look at the constitution. There she is. Well, I did remember reading. It's something to do with the white striping happening after a certain period, although it's 1820 something or other, so it's probably not far off. Anyway, the wind is in a dodgy position, so we're going to want to go here. Head towards them. Constitution up front. Never normally deploy my Admiral up front. But it's the Constitution. It's what do you do? Old Ironsides herself. I could have actually named her that. Specifically as the ship named her Old Ironsides. She's got slightly fewer guns than a 5th rate and a 4th rate in the broadside, but she's got a higher firepower rating. So she must have a... <laughs> must be slightly better at engaging. Get ready to turn. Bear in mind she's old iron sides, not old iron front. <laughs> old iron stern. Oh no, that's Colossus up front. Wait. Oh no, I did do it normally. <laughs> yeah, Constitution's actually not in the lead. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, get in there, cut their formation in half. That bomb catch is going to get some pain. Yeah, I'm only speeding up time till we get in, in and amongst. Found them. Back straight into the side of Intrepid. Keep going. And Argus is going to open up. And then we're going to try and curve around to try and... I mean, these are the ones we want to kind of get. These ships, we'll, we'll get them in time. 
Colorado's fired their guns. Lightning is ready to open up. Chain shot. Oh no, you've already fired you. Inside. Kill a few crew. Although you may stay with your broadside. Just try and Open up. Keep engaging. Yeah, lightning's engaging. The bomb catch. We've got a lot of gauge. This time we should hopefully cut up, cut in front of Burme. Um, Burme. Although, to be honest, I probably want to take these guys, get them nailing down here directly. Stay engaged with Tiv. You're on fire. Built into Intrepid. You fired some of your guns. We start with size, but you don't care. You've got enough of them ready to roll. Try border. These two. Oh, she surrendered. Excellent. Echo, keep engaging. Ooh, you guys try blast and chain shot into her. Mast, so she's sailing head on. Let's see if you can thin out one of these brigs and masts. You're gonna fly a round shot because you're in a you're on a side on. involved. Pivot. You keep pounding it with round shot. Try board the bomb catch. You get in. Okay, Constitution's joining the action against Ferme. Ferme. We are going to fire a round shot, I'm afraid. 
a chain shot. It's a very enticing target for chain. Oh, there we go. Got a main mast broadside. You bored and trepid. Surrendered bomb catch. Okay, you pivot. Keep engaging Argonaut. Constitution gets orders to board. Berm A. Berm. Yep, she's running. They're right, we're going to continue. They're running. Surrendered, surrendered, surrendered. Although, to be fair, actually boarding is usually a bad idea because we are we are on equal numbers. Instead, you're going to pound her with a round shot. Get her to strike her colours. Broadside guns ready to, ready to go. Excellent. See, you know, she only fired two broadsides effectively into the ship she wanted her to attack. And the first one she destroyed a mast, and the second one she got the surrender. So let's not take the privateer. Add the force to our fleet, cash the rest in as prizes. There goes their army. Aye, aye, sir. Return to Yorktown, conquering heroes. Let's get some, get some repairs. Underway. Let's upgrade a industrial building. Awesome. Uh, you will. You can wait your turn. We don't need to worry about you. We're still on a large amount of money. Excellent. Let's hit N10. Your orders. Ooh, a Mexican attack force. Yeah, they're clearly focused on attacking my. Trade hubs, which makes sense. It will cost them, though. It will cost them dearly. You desperately want peace, but you keep expecting me to make concessions for it. I don't think that's going to work, especially when uh, you own Amsterdam and Tangier, and that's it. I don't know what position you're in. I think that that's appropriate, and that's going to work. But it will not, sir. It will not. The rest of the campaign seems to be progressing as, as you would expect. The Danes tried to rebel, but got put down. The Venetians are carrying on their merry way. Cool. 9,800. Ah, someone, they did manage to... This has caused some issue. Complicated to lose, yeah, to be expected. Um, but we get away with it to a certain degree because we've got uh, adjacent ports that can, <laughs> lots of ports that can trade uh, with the rest of the world. So let's make sure we are investing in our economy. But I think we are at a point where it's only these next level industry buildings can be built. All of our ports are up to a better standard now. Basically, you are exporting all of your goods, so let's increase our production of resources in Florida. Maybe not all of it, because you, Granville Stapleton, need to smack Hillier Brissot. That will be a fun battle, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing offensive against the Quebec forces to the north. Cheers everyone.